Ryan, you've played a big part in West Adelaide's rebuild over the past few years. A disappointing weekend last weekend. First of all, let's have a talk about the review. What do you have to do to turn that form around? Yeah, it was a disappointing day for us. Um, I don't know, two goals. You always walk off the ground and think, geez, what did we do out there? But we did keep Norwood to eight goals, and I know everyone doesn't like the style of footy that gets played when we play against Norwood. It's just two styles combined. To, that's the way it is. But, yeah, we just... Even though we're a defensive team, uh, well, that's what people call us a defensive team, but um, we didn't attack. We didn't attack the way we wanted to attack. There was opportunities where we could have taken the game on and we didn't. So that's not the style that we wanted to play. Our, our best style, we do kick goals and yeah, we needed to take the game on. We needed to take more risks. We didn't need to go kamikaze, but we needed to see an opportunity and take it and break the game open and we just weren't able to do it. Norwood suffocated us. We were a bit tentative. We didn't want to take take that one risk to break open the game and, and yeah, in the end we just weren't able to get forward and they locked it in our half and yeah, they're a great team at that, they, they really made it tough. We move on and that defensive style of play though you talk about, that's the way people label you. Do you think that's the sort of style that can win you a premiership ultimately? Our best style can win us a premiership and it's our, when I see our best style I don't see it as defensive. There, there are times, uh, stoppages where we set up uh, with, with a number or two behind the ball but when we play well, we run it out so well and we change direction and we go up the middle and we play attacking footy when we play well. When we go into our shells, when we don't play our brand of footy, when we don't play Westies footy, it comes across as defensive because it is because we get a bit, uh, I guess on the weekend, yeah, just we just didn't take enough risks and, and it and it doesn't kick enough goals and it doesn't win your game. So our best footy is, is a brand of footy that will win us a premiership. But if we don't play to our best... Obviously it won't. North of polar opposites, they play a real attacking style of footy. They were impressive last week against Centrals. How do you go about stopping them? Uh, I'd take that we, we didn't play anywhere near our best, I don't reckon. Again, those last two times we played North, we're nowhere near our best, but still in the game. Uh, we're still very close you know, into the last quarter of both games. It could have gone either way. So if we can just narrow in on those focus areas that we've been looking at on uh, Tuesday night, watch the tape, a few areas that we could have taken the game on last week, and if we actually just have enough conviction to, to go for it this week when it's on, take it and break the game open. It's amazing how much the game opens up from one or two. If you've can, if you got enough uh, courage to take it on those one or two times, it'll break it open for other players and for the rest of the game. So, yeah, we stick to our game, but we do it much better. Sounds like belief's a big word. Now, Coach Andy Collins has been at the club, same as you, for five years now. Uh, what big impact does he have? What's been the biggest impact he's had? And... How does he go about getting that belief back for this weekend's game after last weekend? Yeah, on the senior team, apps, just professionalism, um, a real distinct game style. We know our role, we play our role, we know each other's game. We train really hard. Pre-season was every year. Pre-season has gone up another level. Our professionalism has been um, at, a, at another level. Uh, on a club perspective, he's brought the whole club together from... He's developed a system from the juniors all the way from under 13s all the way through to the senior team where it just gels really well. It's a really, uh, it's just a, a really um, tight knit club now where you, you see the pathway. It's a professional pathway. Uh, if you're an under 13, you know exactly what it takes to enjoy your footy, but start getting a bit serious and, and work your way through. So even our zones, he's always going out into our, our recruitment zones, and so he's just uh, picked the whole club up from from what I can see. And then, it, yeah, hopefully uh, this year it'll it'll result in the top end, you know, the senior team having a, a really good result uh, in a couple of weeks' time. But obviously, you can't you can't win it if you don't get there. You talk about player development off field, and also we're going to talk about the fans off field as well. Westies have been starved of success, no premiership since 1983, a couple of grand finals, but not the ultimate success. How important is is it that you do it for the fans? I uh, felt a bit sorry for them on the weekend. We uh, we didn't give them what they wanted to come and see. You know, they they just wanted to see a good game of footy and us having a real, having a real good crack at it. But the week before, uh, it was great to see. Even on the vision, uh, we you know you watch your tape and you watch the team's tape. And every now and then, after you kick a goal, they pan to the crowd and to see the excitement and the joy and the flag waving and the chanting and just the the fact that they're able to go to Amy Stadium and watch a final and think that we're a real chance. And last week, two weeks ago, we we won. Obviously, on the weekend, wasn't wasn't a good result, but the fact that we're alive in the finals and to see the excitement on their faces around the club, yeah, really fantastic for those guys that rock up every week when we were winning two games and you see the same faces, still positive, 
And so now that we can actually repay them a little bit, that's yeah, really good. Mate, you have been very positive all year and things are looking up. Good luck for the final this week against North Adelaide and fingers crossed for a granny. No worries, thank you. Yeah, we're looking forward to uh, really getting into it this week and obviously North, the form team of the comp, so we know if we beat them, we'll be a good chance the week after. But yeah, we, we're really pumped up for this week.